All right, guys, so we have a family canvas to paint. Um, so in your kit, you have all of these colors. I would suggest putting them on a paper plate. That way they're easily to uh, access. You're gonna want something round, like a bowl. That way you can have a guideline of where we're going. Um, and then in your, your kit was a sponge brush. I don't have any extra, so I'm gonna use a normal brush. Um, so this is what we're gonna do. We're making a holiday wreath with our hands. So that's why you want something round to kind of get an idea of, um, can you give me a pen in that drawer? <laughs> so you want to have something round just so you have a placement, like a, a stencil of where to put your hand. Um, so get something round like a bowl, stick it in the middle, and thank you dear, just lightly trace around it. Don't press too hard, just enough to have an idea. So it's very, very light. You can probably barely even see it, but it's right there. That's gonna be our guideline of where our hands are gonna go. That way you kind of keep it in a round circle. All right, so bigger hands on the back, smaller hands on the front, that'll help it lay out nicer. Child one, come over here, please. Um, so with your green, you can make different shades of it um, to kind of give it a lighter green or a darker green. And with the white, you can put a little like splotchy on there and make it look like snow. Hand, please. All right, so the rule of key when you're painting hands is don't paint it, but glob it. That way the paint actually comes off and doesn't just paint the hand. So glob, glob, glob. Don't paint, glob. And once you think you have it all globbed on enough, we will start making handprints. So. The edge of the palm is going to go on the edge of the circle that you make. It'll go off the canvas, that's okay. So there's one. Let's see right there. Two. We'll just do yours on the background. More paint. More mess. Do you like being messy, hey hey? Uh huh. <laughs> Are you excited to get messy? Uh huh. Uh huh. circles disappearing. <laughs> it's a good thing, right? Uh, kind of. It's, it's roundish. We use lots, lots of ish terms when you're painting. Straight-ish, roundish. We'll get your turn. Okay. Oh, that one went really far. Okay. I think one more. It's a two. So this paint is um, non-toxic and water soluble, so it just washes right off with water, but it will stain clothes, so be careful. Okay, ready? And one more. Perfect, okay, go rinse. All right, do you want to do yours or do you want to wait till after JoJo? Much. Yeah, okay. So let's make yours a little bit lighter. So we're gonna mix some white with the green. Perfect. And glob it on. Glob, 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 glob. Does it feel nice and globby? Mm -hmm. Does it tickle? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> okay. Are you ready? Open. Okay. Open your hand. Open your hand. Put your fingers apart. Fingers apart. There you go. Okay. And we're gonna try not to get paint all over your Shirt and I'm gonna get a little bit more paint. <laughs> it's okay if it's not the exact same color. Wreaths and trees are all different colors all the time. Okay. And let's do it right there. And right there. And right there. So we're just kind of filling in the gaps with the other handprints. So we got little light, hey, hey, handprints all around. All right, hand up, head to the bathroom, go wash off your hand. Hey, Don't touch anything. Is coming. This is the scary part, sending, hey, 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 hand up in the air, hand up in the air. 
<laughs> sending children to go wash their hands unsupervised. All right, so Joe, we're gonna make yours a little bit darker. That way we know whose is whose. So I'm adding just a little bit of black. And Chan, you using this one? Okay, it looks like an evergreen. I know. Okay. So you got the gist of it, right? Mm -hmm. So kind of, I'm going to put one right there. Perfect. That deep green. Maybe right there. Perfect. Do we need some more paint? No. Okay, it's we'll, still really wet. Yeah, we'll grab a little bit more just in case. You can never have too much because if it's not wet enough, it won't show up as a handprint. Perfect. Oh, this is really evergreen now. It's really dark. You like it? It's like Minecraft, huh? <clears throat> Not really. Okay, ready? I'm smothering your arm in green. I'm sorry. Okay. I am not. Oh, yeah, I am. You have green everywhere. Oh, and then you got caught green handed. All right, go wash your hands. Hey, husband. We'll just do a few that way. We have a whole, a whole family canvas here. Okay, ready? And yours is really dark. I need a lot of paint for you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can smile, you know. Definitely a little more than Haley. <laughs> So like I mentioned earlier, the white you can use as like a snow effect. So if you want to grab a dab of white and kind of just put it randomly a few places to make it look like snow. All right, pick a spot wherever you want, but keep your palm. Yep, perfect. Okay, lift up. I want to do it over here. So then once you've sent your kids away, you once you've sent your kids away and they have clean hands, um, we have red paint. So you can use that to make little berries. So if you can use a thumbprint and you can do like groups of three, because that's typically how berries come, right? They come in group of three. So you can do little berries all over your um, wreath here. I'm just doing this that way. I'm on the canvas too. Wherever they appear, there's no bad spot for berries on a wreath, right? It spices it up a little bit. Um, and then if you wanted to add a few snow effects, I am literally covered in paint. If you want to add some snow effects, I'm going to grab a clean brush because everything's a hot mess. You can grab a little bit of that white and you can kind of dab a little bit of snow here and there if you want to. Wherever it happens lands again there's no right or wrong and then um i have a tickle on my nose my hands are covered in paint so there's our family wreath canvas um you might have some extra black paint left and if you have a small brush at your house you can write in the middle like 2020 your family name around it um you can even use a sharpie if you don't want to paint with a brush because i know it's a little intimidating but there is your family night craft, um, something to remember Christmas 2020 with, something fun to do with the family. Um, that's that. So thank you guys for watching. Be sure to post your finished creations and use hashtags or post them on our page. That way I can see it since I can't see you do it in person. Um, thank you guys for watching and I hope you have a great afternoon.